Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. Don't forget to smash that lovely like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget the bell notification to be notified when a new video comes out. Now on with the show, we're going to go thick and fast. Thick as me and a lot faster than me. It's starting with Ford. Now, I mentioned Ford before, but now it's going on because although I mentioned how they were making respirators, during lockdown for hospitals, now they've come out with a heat tech that kills COVID-19 and they're giving it to the police respir uh, police interceptors. And I hear you saying, but if they're giving it away, how do they make money? Well, firstly, the police will order more cars with this tech on it. Secondly, there will be other people who want a way to kill COVID-19, uh, like taxi drivers and the such, who will buy cars from them. On to the next one. Coca-Cola. It's a trading at a 20% discount, pays a 3.5% dividend and is as classed as a dividend king. It means it's paid dividend constantly for over 50 years. Now on to the next one. We have Kraft Heinz. The reason I waited until after dividend has been paid is because the price of the share had gone up more than the dividend and now it's coming down and I'd wait for it to come down at least 80 cents before buying it purely because that's how much it went up <laughs> and the dividend is only 40 cents however I find it as undervalued even at this price one of Warren Buffett's shares just like coca-cola however coca-cola is his third biggest share now we go to an another dividend king procter and gamble i've already purchased these these are a company that consider undervalued dividend king steady growth and have 21 products that are worth a billion dollars each now they have a good uh, market cap 288 billion p /E ratio is high but <clears throat> you get up with dividend kings and 2.78 percent uh, dividend now we're going for a British house builder red row it's just a huge discount it's almost 50 percent now we're not buying for the dividend it was given a good dividend but recently you cut it the reason we're buying is for the growth because i think it will come back to its highs which was over eight pound a share and i think it'll do that within a year or two of opening up now the next one is going to be a healthcare REIT they sell and maintain GPs and medical centres across the UK. Now, they have a PE of 23, a dividend yield of 3.5%. They have a profit margin of 71 and a debt to assets of 41%. I just think they're worth a look at. I was asked about an ETF, so I think EFG is a good one to look at. It deals with tech and pharma stocks outside of the US. So if you think there's going to be trouble with the US stocks like a crash, as most people do, and that's one to look at. Palo Alto Networks. Now, see there, there was dip and it's gone back up again. The reason for that is it had it's had terrible few years, and now after its earnings, is beat its earnings it's gotten a huge boost from work from home and as I said before the best is to come because COVID-19 earnings will be factored in the second uh, second earnings now we go to Wix who I spoke about before and if you are winning when I spoke about it huge profit there you would double your money. However, that's not the reason why. They raised 30% and then 
they've dropped off uh, a little bit. I'd want them below 200 to pick them up, but they've increased the user base by 3.2 million new users in April alone. So I'd be looking into them. I said I would look into Chegg. Turns out I did without realising it. I mentioned them a few weeks back, uh, but without real noticing it. But uh, when I was looking through my notes, now they're a home learning company and uh, they don't look too impressive on paper, but they have earnings date coming up. However, the good thing about this is they're in the Fed page book, which means if there is a second wave or there's a, or something drastic happens again, these are one of the companies that they're going to turn to. They're a home learning company and we've heard from universities and colleges in the US saying they're refusing to give students their money back because they're going to teach them via Zoom or home learning. And I think this is a company that's going to make huge amounts from them. Anyway, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you agree with any of mine, if you're holding any of mine, don't forget to comment in the box below. If you disagree with any of mine, comment with a reason why. It doesn't have to be in box comments box below. It can be on my Facebook page or Instagram with the same name. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hi guys, welcome to the Seven Man Show.
too impressive on paper, but they have earnings date coming up. However, the good thing about this is they're in the Fed beige book, which means if there is a second wave or there's a, or something drastic happens again, these are one of the companies that they're going to turn to. They're a home learning company, and we've heard from universities and colleges in the US saying they're refusing to give students their money back because they're going to teach them via Zoom or home learning. And I think this is a company that's going to make huge amounts from them. Anyway, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you agree with any of mine, if you're holding any of mine, don't forget to comment in the box below. If you disagree with any of mine, comment with a reason why. It doesn't have to be in the box, comments box below. It can be on my Facebook page or Instagram with the same name. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. Don't forget to smash that lovely like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget the bell notification to be notified when a new video comes out. Now on with the show, we're going to go thick and fast. Thick as me and a lot faster than me. Starting with Ford. Now, I mentioned Ford before, but now it's going on because although I mentioned how they were making respirators during lockdown for hospitals, now they've come out with a heat tech that kills COVID-19 and they're giving it to the police respirator, uh, police interceptors and I hear you saying but if they're giving it away how do they make money well firstly the police will order more cars with this tech on it secondly there will be other people who want to wait to kill COVID-19 uh, like taxi drivers and the such who will buy cars from them on to the next one coca-cola is that trading at a 20 percent discount pays a three and a half percent dividend and is as class as a dividend king it means it's paid dividend constantly for over 50 years now on to the next one we have Kraft Heinz the reason I waited until after the dividend has been paid is because the price of the share had gone up more than the dividend and now it's coming down and I'd wait for it to come down at least 80 cents before buying it purely because that's how much it went up <laughs> and the dividend is only 40 cents however I find it as undervalued even at this price one of Warren Buffett's shares just like coca-cola however coca-cola is his third biggest share now we go to an another dividend king Procter & Gamble I've already purchased these these are a company that consider undervalued dividend king steady growth and have 21 products that are worth a billion dollars each now they have a good uh, market cap 288 billion PE ratio is high but <clears throat> you get that with dividend kings and 2.78 percent uh, dividend now we're going for a British house builder Red Row it's a huge discount it's almost 50 percent now we're not buying for the dividend it was giving a good dividend but recently you cut it the reason we're buying is for the growth because I think it will come back to its highs which was over eight pound a share uh, and I think it'll do that within a year or two of opening up now the next one is going to be a healthcare REIT they sell and maintain GPs and medical centers across the UK now they have a PE of 23 a dividend yield of three and a half percent they have a profit margin of 71 
and debt to assets of 41 percent i just think they're worth a look at now, i was asked about an etf so i think efg is a good one to look at it deals with tech and pharma stocks outside of the us so if you think there's going to be trouble with the us stocks like a crash as most people do and that's one to look at Palo alto networks now see there there was dip and it's gone back up again the reason for that is it had it's had terrible few years and now after its earnings it's beat its earnings it's gotten a huge boost from work from home and as i said before the best is to come because covid19 earnings will be perfected in the second uh second earnings now we go to wix who i spoke about before and if you're winning when i spoke about it huge profit there you got to double your money however that's not the reason why they raised five percent and then they've dropped off uh, a little bit i'd want them below 200 to pick them up but they've increased the user base by 3.2 million new users in april alone so i'd be looking into them i said i would look into check turns out i did without realizing it i mentioned them a few weeks back uh, but without real noticing it but uh when i was looking through my notes now they're a home learning company and uh they don't look too impressive on paper but they have earnings date coming up however the good thing about this is they're in the fed beige book which means if there is a second wave or there's uh or something drastic happens again these are one of the companies that they're going to turn to they're a home learning company and we've heard from universities and colleges in the US saying they're refusing to give students their money back because they're going to teach them via Zoom or home learning. And I think this is a company that's going to make huge amounts from them. Anyway, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you agree with any of mine, if you're holding any of mine, don't forget to comment in the box below. If you disagree with any of mine, comment with a reason why. It doesn't have to be in box comments box below. It can be on my Facebook page or Instagram with the same name. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.